Day one of Detroit Lions training camp is in full swing and everyone is excited from your average viewer and a casual fan to us who cover the team every day. We have been more excited than we've ever been. I can speak for myself and most of us Lions content creators that we're more excited than we've ever been covering this team. And we have reason to. Our team is coming off a 9-8 and eight season, eliminating the Green Bay Packers from playoff contention and building the team the right way. I know a lot of you guys are on my head about uh, trade proposals and things like that. I still think that one guy would really change our team around, specifically on defense, but I'm not in charge of the team, and it's not up to me. But I saw something today. Shout out to my guy, Mr. Poole, who has an honorary chair in Syndicate Studios because he keeps me up on everything Detroit Lions, and I do appreciate it. Coming from, if you don't know, Dan Miller hosts a show on Sunday night, I believe. It is called The Works and Dan Campbell and Jared Goff will be part of that show today. Now, it is pre-taped, and it is airing at 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. If you are local and you have Fox 2, be sure to check it out. But Dan Campbell today, he basically, in my opinion, the most important nine seconds of day one in training camp, and it sets the mood and, and the standard for what we are to expect not only this year, but the upcoming years for when it comes to our team. If you want to know what it is, without further ado, let's check this out. That, 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 that is ready to battle when we get into the tournament. It's not, it's not just about limping into the playoffs, man. We want a team that can battle once you get into the tournament. That's that's what all this is about. We want a team that that is ready to battle when we get into the tournament. It's not just about limping into the playoffs, man. We want a team that can battle once you get into the tournament. That's that's what all this is about. We want a team that that is ready to battle when we get into the tournament. It's not just about limping into the playoffs, man. We want a team that can battle once you get into the tournament. That's that's what all this is about. We want a team that that's going not just going to limp into the playoffs but be able to battle once they get there that is something that's music to our ears as Detroit Lions playoff uh Detroit Lions fans we have not been to the playoffs since 2016 we have not won a playoff game since I was in middle school and Barry Sanders was our running back and this team we talk about it and even though we talk about Things that are outlandish with Quinn and Williams and uh, other players. We are still excited and we know that this team is building. This regime is building this team the right way. There are no turds on this team. There are no Trey Flowers. There are no overpaid players on this team. I know what you might feel about Jared Goff and what can come up with him. I don't believe there's any overpaid players on this team. But Dan Campbell saying we're not just trying to make it to the playoffs. We're trying to do some damage when we get there. See, we've evolved beyond the kneecap speech. Doesn't it seem like so long ago that the kneecap speech was actually a thing? And we did just that. Year one, 313 and one. We didn't win our first game until week 13, I believe it was. We also tied against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Took us everything. And we literally won our first game on the last play of the game with no time left. Then we come out. Season two under Dan Campbell and Brad Holmes, and we go one and one. We lose five in a row. Aubrey Pleasant gets fired, and then we go eight and two down the stretch. And going into year three, expectations are high. We are ready for a winner. And Dan Campbell and, and Brad Holmes and Sheila Hemp are trying to give us one, but not just a division win, not just a home playoff game, but to be able to make some noise when we actually get into the playoffs so to me this was the most important nine seconds of day one when it comes to training camp because not only did it set the tone for training camp in the preseason but the season to come that throughout the season this team might do some moves and make some moves and do some things to make sure that they're not just one and done when they get into the playoffs. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below I am super excited because football is back we actually have quality content and we can make a ton of content for you guys because it is the hype train might just get derailed if we're not careful. So I am so proud of this team and I cannot wait to see some football. I just got one announcement to make. I was trying to save this, but you guys are bugging me about this lion and I wanted to wait until I got there. OK, but I'm thinking about doing something. I talked to the guy who made this and he actually can make it bigger. OK, 
He's getting a bigger machine. He can make it bigger. And I want to get the big one. So what I'm thinking about doing, it's not official yet, is when this channel hits 25,000 subscribers, I will take this one off my wall and give it away. I don't know how I'm going to do that yet. It's in the early stages. We'll figure it out. I got to get the new one first. And that's going to be a while. OK, I like where it is. If you want to see it, then all you got to do is use the link in my description. Go and sign up and buy you one. That's all you got to do. And then you can sit and look at it on your wall. That's all you got to do. But you guys took it from me. I wanted to just wait and show you. But move the line. We can't see it. It's so beautiful. I want to see it. No, I. It, it's where it needs to be. OK, this is the setup that I envision. All right. Jeez, but if you want your own, go ahead and get your own. But that's what I'm going to do. A bigger lion is coming. Uh, I don't know when yet, but it's in the it's, it's in the early stages. And because I'm trying to get that Allen Park vibe, that's what I was going from uh, from the beginning. And also, last point here is I will be doing a studio kind of studio tour once I get everything buttoned up. It's a mess right now, just out of frame. So anyway, so there you go. Okay, you guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions. Thank <laughs> you.